Hello everyone, it's Hatman here, and today I'll be doing my review on the Wolverine. Uh, this is following my last review video on X-Men First Class. Uh, this film compared especially to the first Wolverine fi film, uh, the X-Men Origins. This film is like a million times better, and that you know that film was really bad. Like most people don't even really add it as being an X-Men film because of you know, how bad it was. But anyway. Uh, yeah, The Wolverine, very good film, uh, follows on from X-Men 3, The Last Stand, and uh, yeah, it's really good, it starts off, it shows a bit more, it shows better acting uh, by Hugh Jackman and his character and how in-depth the actual character is, let alone his acting. Uh, yeah, it's a very good film, uh, shows that he can do a film by himself without any of the other X-Men being involved. And yeah, in my opinion, the Wol the Wolverine, Wolverine, Hugh Jackman's character, is by far the best X Men character. Uh, there is rumours that there will be an X, there will be a Wolverine film, his last Wolverine film, uh, playing him, will be coming out next year. And the theme, or the original comic they're taking it from, is one called the Old Man Logan, who's supposed to be a lot darker, uh, a lot more grown up. And after the success of Deadpool uh, and how well it did uh, being an R-rated film, that there's a big chance that this one that will finish his character off, whether it'll kill him or whether they'll just end his character. Yeah, I'll, I'll expect quite a bit of violence because, to be honest, in The Wolverine, there was actually quite a lot more action and uh, killings by Wolverine um, that you wouldn't normally find in films like Spider-Man or, you know, the more tame Marvel films. Uh, but yeah, this is definitely worth watching. Great story. Uh, visually amazing. Like, it starts off with a nuclear bomb or an atomic bomb being dropped over Japan. And it's just a little flashback of uh, the Wolverine. And uh, then it goes to modern times where he's like coming to grips with how like he lost or he's, he's dealing with the grief of Jean after he ended up having to kill her when she turned into the Phoenix in the last film. Uh, but yeah, it's a really good film, really good story. And the post credit scenes actually make it so it's actually linked with X-Men First Class and the following film, which will be, or which was, uh, Days of Future Past because you end up seeing... Uh, Magneto and Professor X actually in an airport and Wolverine goes to attack him and it actually turns out that they are actually working together and uh, and yeah then that kind of sets the tone for the next film which is Days of Future Past uh, but yeah very good film uh, well definitely worth watching uh, if you liked the review uh, please leave a comment below uh, like and subscribe and I'll keep doing the videos. Thank you very much. Bye everyone.